All right. I am laying in front of the furnace uh, in Kilwins. The original furnace, as you can see, there's my leg. There's ductwork on this side. I'm over ductwork on this side. There's Dave jammed all the way back there. There's more ductwork here. Here's the furnace directly in front of me. We opened it up to try and do service work on it. There is a firewall that was built around the air conditioner. That panel back there is our access to the evaporator. Uh, about 25% of the evaporator is on this side of the wall. The rest of it's on the other side. Directly underneath is the overflow pan. The overflow pan, again, goes through this, which is supposed to be a firewall. Um, as we go up overhead and we see more ductwork, and you can see how close everything is. It's because I'm jammed in here, laying on my back sprinkler fitting uh, uh, sprinkler piping and everything else um, this cannot be serviced uh, by a single individual at all and even with two individuals this is not a safe way to surface uh, to uh, service anything um, this furnace has been made almost completely unserviceable uh, I would suggest that we start looking at plans at putting uh, air conditioning downstairs in the basement to replace this system when this system dies. I quite literally don't have any room to pull this blower assembly out of here because of the sprinkler piping on the other side and everything else. Um, and not only that, but the beam directly above doesn't even let me pull motors out or anything. So this unit is virtually completely unserviceable. Um, there we go.